Many people learn that you should never use the pronouns he or she when talking about animals. You should only use it. However, that is not correct. Other people learn that you can use he and she with animals, but only if they are your pets. And that is also not correct. So today we are talking about two things. First, we're talking about when to use the pronouns he, she, and it when talking about animals. And second, we're going to talk about why English speakers sometimes use the pronouns he and she when talking about objects, such as cars, boats, or guns. And for anyone who has never seen one of my videos before, I'm Teacher Mike, and I make two to three new videos each week to help adults like you learn real English that they can use in their daily lives. First things first, when you know the biological sex of an animal, when you know that an animal is male, or when you know that an animal is female, using he or she is 100% normal. The reason that we sometimes use it to talk about animals is that we don't know whether that animal is male or female. But when we know that an animal is male, we almost always use he. And when we know that an animal is female, we almost always use she. It's not because we care about the animal. It's not because the animal is our pet. And it's not because we think that the animal is our family member. It's just because we know that the animal is female. Or we know that the animal is male. So, for example, if I see a snake, I am not a snake specialist. So, I cannot tell you whether that snake is male or female. Therefore, I would use it. But if someone tells me that the snake is female, then I would probably start using she. And the same thing is true for dogs. If I see a dog and I don't know whether it's male or female, I will use it. But if the owner tells me that it is male, or if I see that it has a penis, then I will use he. I posted about this in the past, and a lot of people commented things like, Yeah, but you're American. That's your culture. You think about animals like family. No, this is not really about culture. This is just about English. When speaking English, if we know that someone or something is male, we almost always use he. And when we know that someone or something is female, we almost always use she. It's not about showing a connection to the animal. It's not about showing that you love the animal. And it's not because the animal is your pet. It's just because you know that the animal is male. Or you know that the animal is female. Yes, we use he and she with our pets more often than we do with other animals. But this is not because they are special. This is just because we know the biological sex of our pets, whereas we might not know the biological sex of another animal that we are seeing for the first time. So if I'm telling a story about a dog that I saw yesterday, and I'm not sure whether the dog was male or female, I'm going to use it. Just like using he or she is completely normal when you know the biological sex of the animal, using it is completely normal when you don't know. So, long story short, if you don't know the biological sex of an animal, you can use it. If you know that an animal is male, you will usually use he. And if you know that an animal is female, you will usually use she. 
Now, our second question. Why do people sometimes use he or she when talking about objects, such as cars, boats, or guns? This one I'm going to answer very quickly. We usually use male and female pronouns for an object if, when we look at it or think about it, we feel the same way that we feel when we look at or think about a beautiful woman or a handsome man. Basically, we do this when we really appreciate or really admire something. You could almost say that you have romantic feelings about this thing. So, if you are a man who really loves cars, and you have one car that is really special to you, you might use the pronouns she and her when talking about it. Do I do this? No, I don't. In fact, I find it kind of weird when people do this. However, lots of people do do it, and you are welcome to do it if you want to. And to see more videos like this one, please don't forget to follow on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.